Mon nom, c'est Roderick McNicol. <laughs> okay, yeah, look, two years ago, two years ago, three years ago now, I won the National Photographic Portrait Prize with you. It's my portrait of Jack Charles. Jack, I've known for quite a long time. We knew each other initially as act fellow actors at the Prime Factory. And I photographed him at different times over the last 20 odd years. Jack is an actor, but I'm not going to get Jack to stand in front of me and perform. I really want to have this quiet look at the human being I have in front of me. Aisle 8 in Safeway Supermarket. That's where I got the phone call. <laughs> and whoever it was, let's say it was Joe, said, are you coming up for the opening? And I thought, no, I'm not really thinking of coming up for the opening. And Joe said, well, you should. And I thought, I'm not going to let you off the hook. <laughs> Why should I come up? And she said, I'd won the prize. So that made for a very different trip to the supermarket. Look, winning a prize like that, is pretty monumental. It came at a really fortuitous time for me. I could then take a bit of space in my life and move towards having what was to be a major survey show of my work that was to come at Monash Gallery of Art, part of which was picked up by the National Portrait Gallery. I think it's really important that we do have things like the National Photographic Portrait Prize. Because if we, if we don't have examples like that, we're going to get swamped a little bit by a sea of images that leave us mildly interested for a few seconds and then they get swamped by the next lot coming through and nothing is going to have much resonance. So I think it's important that we still have some pursuit of excellence in image making and the National Portrait Prize provide a venue for people who are who are seeking to be passionate about their use of a particular medium.